Goals are important, but unless the end goal is in sight or brought to light, what is the point? Knowing what you want to do in life will help navigate your intentions towards an actual end goal because everything you do must affect everything you do. So what do you want? Do you have what it takes to make the right left to you? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for uh, videos on education, entertainment, and enlightenment. What do you want to do with your life? Think on this. Think on this fully. It's about putting time into the thing or things that truly make you happy. Now, we want to do fun things all the time. Like, I don't know, ride a bike, maybe go to the movies with your friends. These are the things we do for leisure. I'm talking about what do you want to do for a career? What what fulfills your soul? What makes you extremely and truly happy? Do you want a desk job for your whole life? Or do you want to own the business that controls those desk jobs? Do you want to watch movies for a living? Or do you want to be in the movies for a living? What is it that fulfills your soul and your excitement levels? And you think, this is what I want to do for a career. This, even if it's not a career, this would fulfill me as a human being and I would be happy. And whatever your heart desires, whatever you truly want to do in life, you can do it and you deserve to do it because you're a human being and that makes you valued and unique and worth something. You're worth your dreams and aspirations. So jump on it. So once you know what you want to do in life, now it's about taking action. And you know what? While you're taking action, there are times you will do things outside your field of interest and that's okay. The simple goal is to make sure that whatever it is you do, in or out of your field, that it ultimately affects your end game. And to think positively about it, you have limited time in life. So it's all about focusing it and organizing it to get the most out of your time. Because you should be doing things that make you happy. That's the point to life. It's not about going to work from nine to five and being miserable. It's about going to work nine to nine at night or nine to 12 at night and just being happy. Ultimately, you should be doing things that reward your emotional, mental, physical, and obviously your career choices. Those things should be rewarding those parts of your being. Think of your life as a business investment. What's your ROI or return on investment? If you invest money into an asset, what do you feel a proper ROI is? Now take that mentality and apply it to your time invested into the most important asset of your life, which is you and your desires to do the thing that you love to do, to live the career, to, to embrace the things that make you truly happy. You're investing your time, which is a resource and limited, into the asset of worth, which is yourself. Time for a helpful tip. Grab a piece of paper and a pen. I'll wait. The next thing you want to do is give yourself plenty of time to brainstorm on this. Let it happen over the course of time. The question we're trying to answer is think about what would fulfill your life and or career. And once you have that idea, why don't you write it down? In fact, why don't we go a little step further? Why don't we write 10 items that you would really enjoy doing in life that would fulfill your soul, your, your emotions and your physical being, your mental aspects, and uh, that also could be a career of choice for you. Once that list of 10 things has concluded, look over that list and give it about a week or so to kind of linger on it. Think and embrace it. Of these 10 things, which five? are most important to you. Now, once you have these five, you want to think on these five for about a week. This is your life you're talking about. So just look at these five. And you know what? At this point, if these five aren't even what you want to do, you can add to the list and just continue to do this process over and over. And at that point, when you're looking at those five things, you have to say to yourself, out of these five, which one thing is my joy? Which one thing makes me complete? And you write that one down on one big piece of paper. 
And once you have that piece of paper, you're going to put it on a wall that's near the door where you leave. So every time you're leaving, you see it. And every aspect of your life, everything you do, must affect everything you do that leads to that one thing. So when you leave your room, your life is gold towards that result. That is your true happiness. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share along with subscribing for future content. This is an interactive series and I will happily respond to any productive questions in the comment section below. For all those who share my video, please at Thomas J. Beleza and I'll see it. And therefore, if I see you share my stuff, I will happily return the favor and share some of your stuff. We must support one another because that's how community grows. As always, don't work too hard, but be productive and peace and harmony. Do you have what it takes to make a right after you? Do, do you, punk? Do you have what it takes to make a right here after you? If you do, that's great. Make things happen. We're making things happen. Oh, dear.